Okay, Mazda BT50 or Ford Ranger with these codes we've got a P244C Okay, exhaust temperature too low for particular filter regeneration bank 1 and a P2463 uh, particular filter restriction sort of accumulation Okay, alright, Mazda BT50 or Ford Ranger um, DPF temperature too low to regen Okay, so in here goes an injector with this pipe going onto it um, which blocks up um, and if we look in here, okay, that's what it should look like with the end unscrewed. So if you unscrew the top bit, you should be able to see light. If I get on right, see light through there. Okay, if you can't, it's blocked. Um, so what? Yeah, just something to poke uh, yeah, down there. Four mil drill bit to start off with, and then that was longer than a four mil drill bit. Four mil. Get... Yeah, cool. So four mil drill bit, and then that's longer to get in there just to clean up out all the blockage. Um, so the, what you'll see happen is it'll push the hose off because it's only got that clamp on there. Uh, that is apparently done on purpose so that if it blocks, it will just push that hose off instead of, um, well apparently they actually damage the fuel tanks on them um, from building up pressure but you know it could be could be anywhere in that line the um, built up pressure could blow the hose whatever but yeah so we don't put a um, stronger hose clamp on need to clean that injector out Okay, so the job of this injector is that it injects a bit of uh, diesel actually into the exhaust uh, to increase the exhaust temperature for DPF regeneration. That's why when this injector gets blocked up and it's unable to do that, it won't reach um, the correct temperature to be able to perform a regeneration on its own and you'll generally find also uh, that because of the fault codes and things that it, you can't put it through a static regeneration so um, yeah if you get those, those codes P244 and P2463 which is just the soot accumulation because it can't regen then come straight to this injector You'll find it hard to see in the temperatures in the live data as well because when it is failing is actually when it's on the road trying to do a regen. So it's trying to inject that fuel but then it can't and that's when the temperature is becoming too low, not while we have it idling in the workshop. Okay, so it does take a, a bit of finding um, to nut it down to this the first time but because you got the video... Uh, we've done that for you and we've seen a couple of these now do the same thing and apparently it is a really common problem um, and we have also been told uh, by the guys at Ford yeah don't put a stronger hose clamp on that hose because it's designed that way so if the injector blocks that hose can come off and that prevents it from doing further damage to the fuel system okay so once you have uh, done all this, got it all cleaned out, all back together, you will need to do a DPF um, static regeneration with your scan tool. Uh, it will lead you through the parameters, you'll need to get the exhaust a bit warm, you'll need to make sure there's no fault codes in it. Okay, uh, also check all around the exhaust while you're underneath it, make sure there's no grass or anything caught up that could catch on fire because the exhaust will get really hot during that process and also park it outside while it does the process because it will run for about 50 minutes and it will rev quite a lot while it does that um, yeah it, it'll bring the revs up quite high just to get that heat in the exhaust okay um, sometimes to clear the codes you will also need to um, do uh, re get rid of the learned parameters and then test drive it let it learn them back again and then do a regen Okay, but I hope this has helped you out today. Uh, if you have those codes, the uh, P244 and the P2463, it will definitely help you out. Um, remember to click a like on this video. That helps us to rank a bit higher in people's searches so we can help them out and help them quickly. 
and take them straight to the problem. And don't forget to click a subscribe so that you can see these all these issues ahead of time before you come across them and you know where to find the answers.